breaststroke is many things and it's evolved in the last 10, 15 years greatly. And you've been a massive contributor to this change in the way that breaststroke is swum. What, what's the Cameron Vandenberg style of breaststroke? What were you trying to do at the time? So when I when I kind of came around what to in in sort of 2012 was sort of my breakout obviously with with the Olympics, um, I think I was one of the first guys where you know Brescia has always or, or at that point Kitajima you know Hansen these guys they were all traditionally focused 200 down to the 100 so the second half of the race obviously was very strong, um, and then you had the sprinters like me trying to kind of come up and you know we got pretty hard and at 75 you die. And I think, um, you know, what I had done is really try to focus on that high frequency to try and be able to train in a certain way that I was now able to go out fast enough that the 200 guys could never catch you and then still be able to obviously make it home. And that kind of only really clicked for me in, in 20, you know, 2012. Uh, and I was able to sort of be able to finish the race in a very competitive second 50, but be able to go out really really fast obviously with the rest of the guys and that was all pretty much down to trying to use a little bit less power for me it was at the time um in in uh in the stroke but maintain a very high frequency mm. and so and i think you know pd took that to the next level in terms of then what he did was that we were all still kicking a, you know we were using the high frequency but we were kicking shall we say still narrow but but more normal and i think pd came along and did, was able to narrow the kick even further and able to increase the frequency even further, which then led to obviously this sort of really fast acceleration down to the 57 lows and, and, and so on. And so, um, you know, with that point, the 200 guys, it was impossible for them to now keep up for us because we were just going out so fast and still being able to maintain the speed at the end of the race. Um, and I think that's kind of the biggest change that's obviously happened. And you see now all the pressure because are all following the same you know progression. And if you're not able to keep a tempo you know of of uh, you know easily 55 to 60 strokes per minute in breaststroke you know you you, you can't even think of being competitive anymore in a, in a 100 meter